are still new in crypto worlds. The recorder has started. Your event is now being recorded. That's nice. So everyone, um, of course, a very warm welcome from Frankfurt. Um, I'm now here in a couple of days, and um, I've been also visiting um, the ECB building, and I uh, was uh, having a cup of coffee with uh, Christine Lagarde, and with, of course, with some remarks. I'm just kidding. Um, next week, I'm going to uh, Cyprus, where I will also present uh, for May uh, 5. And actually, I was forgetting that uh, today is King's Day, or Queen's, yeah, King's Day in the Netherlands. And um, I hope that uh, you had a very nice King's Day in Germany. They don't have a King, uh, I think, no King's Day today. And uh, I would like to welcome you. Uh, everything what I'm telling you about the crypto market is not, an, not a financial advice. It's just for educational purposes. So, um, would like to highlight something how to invest profitably in the crypto market as well in bull and bear markets um, and um, as you can see i've been also uh, writing an ebook no, a physical book about crypto trading for ambitious beginner in dutch published in uh, november and um we already sold 5200 books in six months I'm very proud of it and the last lines uh, are being translated into English. So if you're also uh, happy uh, to purchase the book uh, soon in English, uh, it's possible uh, for the English uh, speaking and reading persons. And my name is Jan Roop Schutt of Crypto Academy. I'm CEO and co-founder and I'm crypto trader and investor and also a key speaker and yeah also blockchain project advisor and uh, also traveling circus uh, they are called and um, this is um, a screenshot of last year in december two and three that was been um, invited as a moderator of a panel discussion about um, the cryptos of course uh, about investments and um, on the right hand side and below yeah, there you see the award and actually uh, someone uh, took my award uh, so i have to go back to Dubai soon again to uh, get my uh, word again. And here you see uh, Traders Fair um, next month in June 18, in a two months, uh, next uh, month in May, that is a uh, Philippines um, in the 21st of May, also a Traders Fair. I will also be speaking there and also in uh, Hanoi. I think it's the capital of uh, Vietnam, not sure. I think so. And uh, next week, as I said, I'm going to speak at the blockchain uh, fest uh, in Limassol, Cyprus. So if you happen to be um, in one of those places, also Limassol, Cyprus next week, feel free to contact me. And um, here's also uh, a kind of nice project, Moeda loyalty points. Mm, I thought it was kind of loyalty program, but uh, this is also nice with this kind of events that we uh, get in touch with interesting people and uh, we bought this also for our swing trading portfolio and um, i have to admit that the crypto market is a little bit in under pressure uh, still so we need an upturn in the market uh, anyway um you need of course a very good overview of the market and where to start uh, this is also a nice start uh, with cryptos and uh, this webinar and um, i would like to put um, everything into perspective uh, feel free to uh, plot something or to write uh, down something in the chat if you have some questions and i'm happy to answer those questions until the end and who of you are yeah is new in the crypto market at this moment so brand new it's very important to know of course um well how big is the crypto market at this moment uh at the moment there are more than nineteen thousand coins uh, available so cryptos, uh, it's a um, container word. Um, there are Bitcoin and Ethereum, of course, the biggest uh, two. And those, those coins are also the most liquid coins. Uh, the last 24 hours volume is for BTC, $34 billion. And also Ethereum is $20 billion. And the total market cap, including BTC, is uh, $1.8 trillion. And... Um, yeah, for the people uh, who are new, I see some uh, new people also. Chris, I'm very nice that that you're here. Also, Nico, thank you very much. And um, well, 
the first step is uh, yeah where to start uh, i think also it's good to know which coins are available and uh, my um yeah coin market overview is a very good one also um coin gecko is one of my favorites and um as you can see the coin market cap is giving a very good overview of coins and starting with the biggest coin that is uh, of course the bitcoin and it has market cap of about 745 billion dollars and ethereum yeah is very uh, later and also uh, coming um and in the second place but it's more or less 400 billion dollars behind um, and that's a very big uh, distance and the number three the us uh, the tether there is a stable coin is kind of um, crypto a stable coin packed to the dollar and the bb that is native coin of binance i'm trading in binance myself and binance is very nice uh, platform where you can trade more as nine uh, 1,900 uh, coins more or less and if you have BNB in your portfolio then you can also uh, get a discount with it with the transaction costs and um, yeah number five is also use the C that is all an, another stable coin but it's um, a little bit uh, more than a half of uh, the tether and Solana Solana is my uh, coin as well if I would like to go for the longer term I would like to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana for sure. These three. And um, yeah, if you uh, take if you take a look at the market uh, categories, and uh, then you can see that uh, nowadays also uh, the play to earn category is very important, very big. Um, NFT and collectibles number four is also very big, and um, the gaming industry. I think that the gaming industry um, is multi multi hundreds of billions of dollars uh, big i'm not sure um, if some of you are gamers yourself but i think that uh yeah, this is a very big um yeah, a very big uh, category uh very big sector and also with uh, the cryptos with possibilities to earn money as a player and also to uh, buy in-game items and to sell them later there's a very new dimension that is very nice uh, of the cryptos of course because uh, in the past when you play the game yeah you bought the game and you have only to buy in-game items like swords or rifles or um, pistols or whatever and it's only costing money but with the cryptos it's also possible to earn some money um kalim uh, says that isn't play to earn uh, the same as gaming um yeah, but the gaming, uh, maybe they have a kind of distinction. I think play to earn, that is a, a subsector of gaming because you can also have games where you don't uh, play to earn. But I'm not a gamer, I'm <laughs> more a trader. Uh, the next slide is uh, the Coin360. It's also very nice to overview. Uh, I'm very, I'm a man, I'm very visual. Uh, I would like to send graphics that's very nice uh, overview with if you can see and uh, now the btc as here the biggest um share of the buy on the ten side and this is actually uh, the performance of btc or the overview of market the total overview um from one year 12 months ago so um this very same date in the april 27 to the one year ago since then the beach is down 29 percent ethereum on the other hand is up 8.5 percent solana is also a big uh, gainer uh, i think it's more than 20 percent higher and also you can see some uh, coins luna and some ucc and you use the t stay uh, tethers uh or stable coins is, um, is the name and um the smaller uh, the square is the smaller the portion of the total market but it's also very nice uh overview it's also a nice overview i think that is the um crypto bubbles that is uh, look um, let's take a look crypto bubbles, yes uh crypto bubbles is not loading 
crypto bubbles is here. Crypto bubbles is a dynamic um, website. You can see the balls moving, greener the ball is the bigger it is, and the bigger, also the bigger the market share. Um, this is kind of problem. This possible. Um, if you don't mind, I will switch to my Wi-Fi. And the thing is that um, no matter which hotel I am, if you uh, give me one second, I will do with Tether. And I will take my mobile. Thank you very much for mentioning. So I will do like this. Um, if I'm out, just please uh, stay online because I'm going to uh, put uh, the other con Okay, let's take a look. If I talk, you can hear me now? Image is clear, okay. Yep, okay, sounds is good. The thing is that I think there's also something here. Uh, I'm now CryptoAcademy.nl1, I'm now double. I hope that is, there's no echo or so whatsoever. Um, I switched to my um, mobile hotspot now, so. Thank you very much for your understanding and thank you very much, uh, Coach, for mentioning. And now I see also the bandwidth is now better. Um, so what I uh, want to say is that um, if you want to have a nice overview of the crypto market, it's Coin360 and there's a static one. And if you're going to take a look at CryptoBubbles.net, then uh, you've got a very nice overview and with moving images. It's very nice. Um, if you take a look at the total market cap, as I stated before, uh, the market cap is now hovering around $1.8 trillion. It's now at the lower end of the bandwidth of uh, since last year. And the low of uh, this year is more or less $1.5 trillion. And we hit a high of $3 trillion. And as you can see, uh, in the beginning of 2001, the market was uh, soaring to the high of 2.5, fell back again and uh, even touched a high, autumn high at 3 trillion. But you can see that the market is very volatile and um, we have to deal with it. And I have to say that um, the market, uh, the portfolios are not performing that well and we need uh, rising markets, but for long-term investors, uh, we are also holding our portfolio and also uh, with an earning uh, possibility with staking and uh, that is on Binance, we got uh, very nice results. But of course, uh, when the market is dropping too much, then uh, we have a price um, a loss. But anyway, um, is, uh, here's the Bitcoin dominance. Um, since the beginning of last year, in 2021, we saw the Bitcoin dominance hovering around 70%. And then it went all the way down straight to 40%, touching a low in 2022 a little bit low um below the 40 percent that means when the dominance of bitcoin is diminishing that means that the other altcoins are uh, taking um, and they are taking more market cap and that means that um, the other uh, altcoin is ethereum i will uh, come up to that uh, that is a, a very nice coin as well uh, to have a portfolio and um, that market cap of ethereum uh, went also uh, higher and also the market dominance went higher. Um, 
here is a Bitcoin. Yeah. My vision is still 100K by the end of Q4 2022. To be honest, I thought that uh, Bitcoin would have hit uh, this number before. Uh, albeit in uh, June, we also saw a rally from 30,000 towards almost 70,000. And then uh, the market fell uh, back again towards the uh, dollars $33,000. And the market uh, is now consolidating around $40,000. Who of you is confident in the crypto market? Uh, not for the short term, but for the longer term. If you say uh, yes, okay, of course you can stay. If you say no, <laughs> we'll kick you out. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, if you think it's not, uh, then I would also like to know why. And Hans says yes, Fen says yes, yes, Janine also, true. And um, true, yeah, if you are crypto minded, I think crypto minded, cryptos are very, um, yeah, it has the future. Although the crypto market is very notorious, volatile, and you have to deal with it. But don't invest money which you cannot uh, afford to lose. I have also set a portion aside for eight thousand five hundred dollars or euros, and I invested that in the X10. And of course, uh, it went up, but also went down. And we are a little bit into the minus, but uh, still, I'm confident. And also, the Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin is still number one at the coin as a store of value, and more, um, yeah, private investors, more institutional investors are getting into the market. I was also talking with um, some guys, some big guys uh, recently in uh, some events in uh, Dubai and also Poland. And they said, uh, the thing is that um, the big investors did not or don't uh, still invest big in the market is because of security. They're a little bit insecure. However, as you can see is um, the influx of money is quite big. The, you, if, if you are trading shares and, and stocks and futures, then uh, you trade on the traditional market. And there is a broker and also behind it is clearing, for instance, also custodians and a custodian uh, service. That means that uh, when you buy Philips um, or Royal Shell, these shares are being held in custodian. And that means that when you're buying cryptos as a private investor, yeah, you're, you are your own custodian. And the thing is that for um investors big investors they say if you want to buy uh crypto we want to have it somewhere safe in a safe that means that um uh, fireblocks if i'm right fireblocks is a very big custodial service uh, provider and in the in total in total crypto market there's more than 200 billion uh, uh, stashed in the crypto and held by custodial services so that means that um, the institutional investors are getting more and more confident. And that's why I also see more movement and progress in the crypto market. But it takes some time. Uh, the crypto market is relatively new. Um, Bitcoin is not new because uh, the inception of Bitcoin was 2009. It was the first Genesis block, uh, 3rd of January. And one year before, in 2008, Bitcoin has been invented by satoshi nakamoto a person or a group of persons and um, later uh, the first block has been mined in uh, january 2009 and since then um, 13 years later we are still there and you can see here uh, on the left hand side uh, there is the chart and also the price um, plotted in, in yellow it started around a few cents and as you can see the market was really, uh, steadily rising on, on the right hand side uh, there you see uh, the um, it, I don't know what is that kind of uh, scale yeah this kind of days before halving uh, the color um, and you can see that uh, the halving when the halving is taking place that means that the, um, yeah that the line will be blue so now we are a little bit into the middle with the uh, yellow or green, but you can see that the price is hovering below the blue line. And on the left hand side, there is the price uh, scale and the horizontal line is 100,000 uh, more or less. And um, the 
market yeah, the bitcoin is um consolidating around the hundred thousand not consolidating now but um it was uh in, in the past yeah piercing through the line it also fell back again but grosso modo <clears throat> the price uh, followed this blue line that means that uh, if uh, this is true and we can see the bitcoin yeah trading at price at around hundred thousand dollars that means that um this price um yeah will stay stable for a couple of uh, years and it means that if you want to have a return extra return on the crypto then you must not have bitcoin for the longer term and um until 2025 that means that you have tied to diversify your holdings into other altcoins and one of the other altcoin is uh, for instance um ethereum but before i go that so ethereum i would like to show you also bitcoin treasuries and i see a rapid uh, increase in bitcoin holdings first is micro strategy so if you are an, an investor in, in shares and want to have exposure into the crypto market indirectly then it's possible for instance to take uh, to buy shares in micro strategy uh, meriton digital holdings square uh, of jack dorsey hot eight mining and also riot and um um what is a coinbase uh, coinbase is the biggest um yeah, coinbase is the biggest uh, crypto exchange uh, listed it's very interesting and there you can also see that the crypto markets are merging more and more into the financial uh, market in the traditional financial market but here we see big players and um, they are accumulating a bitcoin i was checking today um the movement and i see only increases in the bitcoin holdings and as you can see that uh, market strategy has a multiple of 1.3 um, return of uh, on investments and bit farms limited bitf yeah they have uh, for instance um 4.7 no sorry 6.0 and the hut 8 mining hut they have 4.7 made on their yeah, holdings and that's a quite a decent return of course um but nevertheless the bottom line bitcoin is the coin to have a portfolio the other one is ethereum ethereum is uh in my opinion a very big player and underestimated underpriced undervalued uh, my target is for ethereum 6000 i'm accumulating uh, ethereum all the time as well every month buy uh, uh something and i put it in a cold storage and um the ethereum why 6000 that means that um we have to surpass the high of last year in october 4800 the market fell way down back uh, to 2000 and it means if you have uh, for instance a trading range of 2000 points give or take 4000 uh, at a higher end and the 2000 at the lower end that means uh, when you um, take this bandwidth and project it to the upside that's uh, four plus two is six thousand and that is not that uh, yeah not even conservative uh, uh, not even an aggressive target i think it's uh, doable but also uh, not in q1 that is <laughs> passed already and i think also in q4 that we can see these uh, prices and in my opinion the theorem has a far better use case than bitcoin because um ethereum is um uh, also acting as a smart contract platform and uh, DeFi protocols are running on it and also nft market is exploding more and more and also um, ethereum is getting the uh, reaping the benefits of that okay here we see the market um, dominance in of ethereum hovering around 20 percent so if you remember well um bitcoin has dominance of 42 and ethereum 20 percent that means that 62 percent has been taken of the crypto market by these two coins so if you want to have exposure in the crypto market you have you should have these coins in portfolio uh, for sure and if you would like to also take a look how we can uh, do that uh, one of the strategies is also for the x10 we buy for instance uh, coins in one time uh, that is for a kind of uh, dca or hold no dc portfolio um and hodl we can buy um, coins at one time and with the dollar cost averaging uh, we uh, buy on a regular basis extra coins so suppose um, you want to uh, start you can do this strategy very easily 
if you uh, are interested in to buy Solana, uh, then um, you buy Solana at uh, 100, for instance, and when the market is dropping to 50, and one month later, uh, you, you don't take a look at uh, the price, but um, you determine for yourself how much you want to invest. You know, for instance, $100. Uh, when you start with uh, Solana at $100, one month later, when it's uh, the market dropped to 50%, for instance, if the market uh, price is $50, then you buy two Solana. And uh, when the market is um, a couple of months later, $200, for instance, then you buy Solana, for instance, at $200, but then for 0 0.5, the lot size. So that means that you're averaging your purchasing price and purchasing uh, price you're averaging throughout the time. Don't make the mistake. Uh, like one uh, taxi driver was one time um, in uh, Dubai, and he said, Robert, um, I'm also doing cryptos, and I bought for $10,000 Bitcoin, and it was at the price of uh, 60000 and then at that time, I thought uh, I must not only get out of the taxi, but also get out of my Bitcoin uh, partially. <laughs> and then went uh, went down because um, when you hear the people on the street or when your bartender or uh, your uh, hair cutter, uh, hair designer is uh, talking about crypto, you have to be careful. But uh, the thing is that um, so when you diversify your holdings, not only with coins, but also in time, and when you spread your purchasing moments, then it's uh, very good because then you're not uh, yeah, screwed when the market is dropping in one time. And when it's going higher, you already have a position which is yielding and you can uh, yeah, reap the benefits of it. And uh, <laughs> Co says, usually it's not smart money indeed and that uh, the people are not um, yeah, no, not smart. The Joe six pack with all uh, respect, of course, when they do something, they don't have strategy and they are not following their system or their own strategy. And the, the Joe six packs of these worlds, uh, yeah, they are just uh, taking a look at uh, the internet and uh, for free advice. And you, as you, as you know, there's no such thing as free lunch. Um, and uh, do your own, own uh, homework, of course, do your own due diligence, but never follow blindly uh, free services because uh, that is, uh, I mean, I, in my opinion, um, the straightest way to the poor's house. The swing trading strategy, you can do it, for instance, uh, by weeks or months, and you can buy uh, coins at one time. And the exit strategy could be take profit by selling 50% of the holdings at a certain price increase. Suppose that the coin is increased um, in price 50%, you sell 50% of your holdings. And that's also very good because then at that uh, moment, at that point on, you can let the profits run and move your um, rest position to break even. So when the market is dropping again, then you get out of the holdings at um, break even level. Because uh, I got many questions, people say also about the uh, crypto market. Hey, how about crypto market? Um, I have got, uh, for instance, a Dogecoin. I bought a bunch of Dogecoins and it went 100% higher. He said, yeah, what do I have to do? And uh, if I sell, then I miss the boat and, uh, and uh, I miss the boat again. Or when I don't sell the market dropping, I have lost. The, the solution is very simple. Reduce your holdings, whether it be 50% or 25% all the time, but leave always some chips on the table. I've been also playing poker in the past, um, not on a professional um, uh, professional way, but uh, amateur way with friends. And I, I my opinion, you have always to have some leave some chips on the table that you can always play, because uh, nothing is so frustrating if you um, go all in, you lose everything. That is not uh, really smart. But also very important, diversify. What you're also doing is uh, with the training and investment strategies with the uh, crypto services is that uh, for the short term, I'm doing intraday trading with a system, money to work trading system. This is not um, suitable for this session, but uh, if you would like to also earn some money to the downside, you can also go short, of course, with uh, contracts with futures or CFDs and the CFDs with uh, FX flat or IC markets. Um, albeit, I don't have overnight positions. And I'm going long and uh, and I take long and short positions, uh, so it's very good. But it's straight uh, to go long and short 
uh, in a position that means that uh, when you're long, you buy a contract and it's going higher, then you uh, you win money. And when the market is dropping and you're long, then you lose money. And that is not good, of course. Um, options trading on Deribit. If someone is interested in to take a look uh, to Deribit, it's a very interesting platform. Who of you um, are doing trading in options? Who is doing that already? And who is using... Um, uh, so, I mean, options in the classic way, yeah, in uh, of shares. Because this is very nice uh, dimens, uh, dimension. Let's take a look how many people are trading options uh, based on the shares, of course. And we'll take a look. Um, I'll show you sign of form. Yeah, what you can do is um, front page. Yeah, what I would like to do is uh, to show you the link. Uh, Jared says, uh, I'm using index options. Okay, that's nice. Uh, Hans uh, says, I'm using already um, uh, options and short, but I think short options. Yeah? I mean that you are using uh, options on the on shares. And the nice thing with options is that you can go um yeah you can of course you can gamble but i never buy options hardly never or in spreads when you have uh, shares then you can sell uh, calls um short and you collect premium that means that you can uh, make extra uh, return on your investments also when you think okay the bitcoin is now hovering around thirty nine thousand, and you think okay i would like to buy bitcoin at lower price then you can sell the put for instance 35 put and you get also premium and these crypto options are liquid enough that's absolutely uh, the case uh coast maybe um i've got also some 10 15 minutes a q a session for you and uh, but this is a little bit um maybe uh, too complicated uh if you compare it with uh, straight long or short but it's also a possibility but if you are looking uh, for a nice platform you can click on the link of um, the Deribit. And the other thing is that um, you can also use options as a hedge. If you buy options, for instance, to protect your downside risk, then you can buy puts, for instance, uh, on Bitcoin. Also, uh, you can buy and sell options on Ethereum with Deribit. And that is uh, very nice. What is also important, I think, with crypto trading, with trading in general, that you have uh, to have um, watch lists on uh, trading view. I created a couple of uh, watch lists, um, a bunch, I think five or ten. And um, with this, uh, I'm scrolling and uh, scrolling down and through the charts, and I'm going to take a look where and when to sell, buy and to sell. And what the nice thing is that uh, when you do that, then you don't have to type in all the time um, the uh, you don't have to type in all the time uh, uh, the coins and you can scroll with uh, the arrow down for instance uh, this is nice uh, coin who has uh, ape coin in portfolio this is an nft coin and uh, based on the uh, ape uh, board a board yacht ape uh, board ape yacht uh, club and we bought this for our extend portfolio around 15 bucks not at 11 then uh, i would like to then i'm bragging um, which is not true that is not uh, not correct so what i'm doing at, uh, at this moment is um showing a coin two coins this is uh, we have still some cryptos in portfolio we bought ape for 250 uh, euros and we sold yesterday or before yesterday around 18 bucks we sold uh, half of the holdings and who has um, who has also sold this coin for half of the position and also let the profit run i will run through the questions uh, ed thank you for your uh, very good question 
So the question is, uh, if you have this coin, for instance, uh, did you also, um, yeah, did you also uh, take uh, profit half or full? Who of you uh, would like to take profit in all? Eh? You go in all in and all out with one coin. look uh, what's happening here okay great now who is more convenient and who feels him or herself better with uh, for instance uh, to buy one coin and to sell everything at one point i would like to to, uh, to run through some charts with trading view if you'd like to um Hans says, uh, no time. I'm in Serbia for a few days. That's nice. I'm, I have a layover in uh, in Beograd uh, Friday, <laughs> but only for uh, one hour, I think. Enjoy, enjoy. Um, yeah, I always sell full position. Well, this is uh, the first takeaway. You can uh, take it uh, for free, Kalim. If you have position and you sell 25 or 50 percent of your holdings whether it be shares or stocks or other investments and you keep the other part in portfolio then you have more opportunity to uh, to earn money because what happens when you sell when I, when we would have sold ape at 18 all out then we would have missed this uh, two points um, almost two points uh, rise so um, that is my uh, advice and just sell a small portion of your portfolio then of the coins. Uh, this is another coin, Luna. And uh, Terra Luna is a metaverse coin, a very interesting uh, coin as well. And we bought that. Uh, I'm not sure which um, uh, what which date we bought. Also in March, I think February March. And we sold uh, a portion, not at the peak, not at 120, but uh, with 20 or 30 percent uh, higher. And the rest uh, we are still in portfolio and uh, i uh, have now uh, and on the top i put a bar with uh, more information about extend crypto challenge if you would like to join it's still uh, possible and what we are doing we are giving yeah uh, we're giving shots for for, for open uh, goal and you only have to yeah to score the goal yourself here you see uh, the recent closed positions we have eight coin we bought it 23 29 of march around 12.73 uh, euros and we sold it at uh, 16 and a half euro uh, ergo we bought uh, that was um 28 of february and we bought it for uh, 25 cents more or less a uh, euro cents no 90 cents and we sold it for 25 36 percent higher uh, profit and as you can see, uh, we reduced our position by half. And Chilis was uh, a good uh, play here. Uh, we had it in the past also, but it went down. And Luna, Terra Luna of the chart, we bought it in 23rd of um, January. No, 60. We'll go switch. I will flip uh, back. It was almost 50% higher. Uh, we sold it at uh, 87. So that means that we bought the Luna, I think around the low, that was uh, interesting. 23rd, yeah, 23rd of January at 60 euros. Um, so this is uh, 60 euros. Yeah, that was in January. So we uh, the market dropped a little bit and then uh, went uh, yeah, to, uh, through the roof. And uh, some say it can also use the trade navigator. Um, in general, I'm not in the general the and the general rule of thumb is that uh, the trade navigator is working perfectly for shares for weak basis. And trading navigator, I don't use it for the short term because I did not test it out. What I uh, usually do is I'm taking a four moving averages. There is no secret. These are just the eight and twenty one. Um, shorter term moving averages and the 34 and 55 these are the 
yeah, longer term uh, moving averages. And uh, the idea is these are Fibonacci levels, Fibonacci numbers. The idea is that when these four moving averages are crossing each other, so they're crossing and they come together, so they converge and then they diverge. And with the yeah, with the breakout, you can see a very big explosion. And the longer term EMA, that is 55, for instance, is giving support. Now you can also see that Luna is now testing the moving averages again. Now it's, I'm not sure whether, uh, I don't know, don't have also not in a crystal ball here. But you can see, okay, will this market go up or down? I don't know, but first we took already uh, profits. Second, if the other um, uh, of the position will be stopped out, yeah, then it will be a break-even level. And when we are lucky, uh, maybe you can also exit earlier. But uh, as you can see, the market consolidates around uh, 90 bucks, around the moving averages. Now, when it's moving uh, to the downside, uh, below for instance 87 85 percent then we can consider to yeah, to sell this um this coin and to go uh, for another coin let's take a look what do we have okay um the thing is that when you are trading in shares and options in the financial market then you have for instance uh, brokers like uh, uh, bink or saxo at this moment or maxim for instance and they have one portfolio but with cryptos and i've also decentralized exchange uh, positions uh, i've also uh, positions on for instance binance or uh, qcoin or um or yobi and uh, the thing is that uh, you get crazy when you cannot uh, keep track on that so what did i do uh, with coin stats i have a um, subscription for three dollars per month or more or less and I connected my portfolios to uh, CoinStats. Actually, <clears throat> this uh, <coughs> CoinStats does not take into account, I think, the earning uh, wallet on Binance. So uh, this is, uh, these are the spot wallets. But it's a very nice tracking um, tool, in my opinion. And as you can see, we have uh, still some positions in ApeCoin, uh, which is now 10% um, uh, higher the last 24 hours. And the biggest mover is, uh, let's uh, take a look. Yeah, it's uh, ApeCoin. And the second one is uh, Bitcoin Cash. I have also some uh, coins in portfolio. A uh, Dogecoin. Yeah, Dogecoin, that is, if you would um, put a, a gun uh, to my head, and you would say, like, say, okay, which coin uh, you have to buy, then I would say Dogecoin. Why? Because Dogecoin is one of the favorite coins of Elon Musk, as you know. Elon Musk um, has allegedly a green light for taking over Twitter for more or, more or less uh, more than $44 billion. And um, then it's very nice combination. Maybe they will, uh, uh, Twitter can, will also use a Dogecoin as a uh, mean of um, yeah, a payment um, uh, possibility. Uh, this is just speculation, eh? but I can imagine that um, Dogecoin is one of the potential candidates to yeah to be picked up. Um, so and also you see number th uh, number three uh, Solana is also there uh, big portion, and um, BNB is also big portion Bitcoin of course as well. And um, but this is very nice trading um, yeah tracking tool if you are trading uh, if you are investing. Um, if you are interested to have more information about the Crypto Extend Challenge, feel free to send an email to um, info at cryptoacademy.nl. Then you can um, then you can um, join the service. It's for nine hundred ninety-seven euros, all in, uh, so including uh, tax, uh, VAT is that, and uh, the service is running until uh, our target is met. So my challenge, our challenge is to go from 10K to 100K. I know it's quite uh, challenging, um, and especially with a downturn market, uh, but uh, then you can um, uh, subscribe to this challenge and uh, we're happy to uh, help you. Uh, with the service, you don't uh, get only one portfolio. You get also access to other three crypto portfolios with support. 
every week we have um, a Zoom meeting. Uh, one week is about um, yeah, the X10, that's next Monday again. And one week later is about uh, three comma trading, it's automatic trading. And um, so if you are um, yeah, interested, feel free to yeah, click on the link uh, above or scan the QR code and you can take a look for more information. Some final slides before I go to uh, share my screen and to take up some to take some uh, questions from you. First of all, diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket and avoid too much leverage. And that's very important. Um, if, when you use leverage, uh, then you can burn your fingers. And here is a little guy uh, scaling down uh, from uh, the Rutschbahn from the Rootsbahn in uh, now in Germany, but you can see it's kind of uh, rasp and you have to have to, yeah, you have to be very careful that you don't get burned and get hurt. Yeah, crypto trading is not easy. It's, um, we are there to assist you to score hole in ones um, much easier. And uh, we have also many members. We have more than 170 members uh, also for the X10 um more than 300 uh, people also are using our crypto services and this this is harold he says uh crypto uh who said crypto was uh, was very stressful i'm 25 and i'm feeling great so that is uh meet harold um finally final slide is here that is my slide about um uh, my details and yeah, dot nl is it uh, it's comprised info at cryptoacademy.nl and my telephone number for whatsapp and uh, what is uh, new okay so we have some 12 uh, minutes left what i would like to do i would like to share my screen and you can shout questions whatever you want sounds good sounds good i think I will switch uh, from one screen to the other. Okay, sounds very good. Um, so first of all, I would like to show you uh, the next thing that is uh, share screen button that is here. Uh, run an app, open app. Now it's connecting and I have to take the application, application, full screen, screen area, application, mm, full screen, screen one. So it's right, uh, you can see our um, charts. Huh? It's very nice that uh, people who are having um, now, uh, for instance, Trading Navigator uh, or is FIP, a member of armvanwijkbeleggen.com. Um, we have also cooperated together uh, with the Google Drive. We share our uh, watch list. Um, one of the watch lists I have uh, done is uh, NFT coins. So I will show you that NFT coins I use, for instance, on a daily basis uh, to take a look at the, at the charts. And when the yeah, the moving averages are bending, sloping um, downward, and the price is lower. Then I prefer not to buy at this time frame. Uh, the lower time frame, which I use, is for instance one hour chart. So we've uh, because every movement begins in the lower time frame. So for instance, if you want to buy Alice, and you can buy when it's uh, below the moving averages on daily basis, but at least. I want to see that is moving on the hourly basis above uh, the moving averages. What also is good uh, to take a look at is the volume. I show here the volume. So when you see a very big uh, spike to the upside um, with green volume and then uh, rising price, that means that buyers are very aggressive. Here you can see, for instance, the Alice is sliding downwards. And if you take a look at uh, the move of uh, April 25, there you see very big drop in price with a very big volume that means sellers are very aggressive at this moment alice is not a buy yet not yet then i go to atlas for instance how does it look like on the hourly basis 
nothing. AXS, Axis, also down is not good. Bake, also not good. CHR, Chromia, that might be something, not yet. It's too early. Chilis is too early. Dar, I mentioned also before, it's also below. Um, DGB, Digibyte is also not very convincing. DVI is this one. Not so many uh, price movement here. Engine is also below the moving averages. It's also not, uh, not convincing. And Gala. Yeah, as I can see, is many coins, of course, are under pressure. And it's a little bit too early to step into the market too quickly. So at least at the one hour chart, I would like to have some impulses to the upside. So this is for the NFT coins. And you can say, OK, NFT coins, this is not uh, now. Um, not many buying opportunities. Then we can take a look. Uh, more for instance, Metaverse coins. Are these uh, different Metaverse coins? Maybe. Just take a look on the hourly basis. Uh, some uh, coins are the same, like Alice. Uh, you can see also here. Uh, not a cube, USD. Look, this is one of these. Um, this is a possible buy because cube is trying to pierce to the upside um but cube i'm not sure where it's uh, traded if it's on binance it's better on bitfav i'm not sure but this could be potentially a buy engine we have uh, noticed is not earn we had also this one in portfolio before uh then take a look at uh, another coin If you have also another coin you would like to analyze, we can uh, put it and then you can say the ticker symbol. Uh, do you look at the volume for a possible entry? Uh, very good uh, question, Coase. Yes, I do. Especially when I see, for instance, when I go to, for instance, um, a Dogecoin. I bought it uh, a couple of days ago when the market, when the news hit the wires. And I will show you what happened. You can see here that the market was zooming higher with high volume. Okay, now it fell back, it's normal reaction. You see that the market is correcting with lower volume. That means that the push to the upside by buyers was very aggressive with very much volume and the sellers are stepping in, but they are not so uh, aggressive at this moment. And so in that case, I, uh, I'd like to uh, take a look at the volume as well. Now, if I go to the left hand side of the chart, we can also say, uh, see last year. Mm, I will uh, show you now. Look, last year, Dutch was also in the picture. Um, as you can see on the left hand side, this is very interesting. The moving averages were below the price, but you can see the price was not moving much. Yeah, but you saw already accumulation of buyers. Many buyers were stepping into the market with high volume. Then suddenly nothing happens. And then here also high volume. And then I think that Elon Musk was tweeting something about uh, about uh, Dogecoin. And then later uh, the yeah the increase of uh, the price rally uh, faded. And then it fell back again. And this is also, um, yeah, this is also a, a very interesting uh, point. That means that here, if you can take a look at the uh, Dogecoin, there's also for uh, stock traders, stock investors, that you must not uh, be blind to take a look and too uh, stubborn to say, okay, if, when the coin is mm, rising 10%, then I sell everything or when it sell when it's going 20% higher, you can see here that the price went from, let's say 10 cents, all the way back, uh, all the way up to seven, 70 cents. So that means it went a 600% higher. These are ridiculous returns, but uh, if when you go all out, and that is for, um, especially for um, Kalim, 
So when you go all out at this point, of course it's not wrong, but then you miss out the total, um, yeah, the total rally, and that is uh, that's a pity. <clears throat> Let's take a look which uh, coins are interesting at this moment. Um, now ApeCoin, where we have noticed that ApeCoin. Uh, this is the daily chart of ApeCoin here. And I have to move the chart a little bit to the left. And as you can see, it's an hourly chart. And here. Mm -hmm. Look, this is Ape chart. So also the, the theory into practice. Also, especially for Coase, you can see also here that the um, price is moving higher here with uh, exploding volume. That means uh, many participants, and many buyers are stepping into uh, the market. And then you can see here, for instance, um, also green volume bars to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the lower end and also here. So people are buying all the time and when the market is correcting with lower volume, and that is very cool. This is one on the hourly basis. I will put it uh, on the daily basis then, as you can see. Uh, this is a relative uh, new coin. Yeah, you can see it with the inception, it went to $2 to, uh, uh, to 26. And when fell back again to 10, and now it's uh, heading towards 90 again. I think that, um, also another uh, insight of me that is most of the time when you see uh, the market rising, uh, take a look at the all time high of all time low and the previous high of low. Most of the time, this level uh, is functioning as a magnet. Um, if you can take a look at the magnet here, horizontal edge, there is a, this is this line. Um, give or take at the high, maybe a little bit lower, but it would not surprise me. Will not surprise me if we can see a price above twenty five, twenty six dollars, and that's why I only sold fifty percent of my holdings in ApeCoin, and I let the profits run. <clears throat> um, okay, I see some two other messages. Um, what about uh, GMT? Yeah, Steppen is that eh? GMT? I think it's also a very interesting coin and it was also performing well. Yeah, I was taking a look at the, I missed this actually. I was uh, taking a look uh, before uh, last week, but then I noticed I was too late. I thought I was too late, but it's ridiculous, uh, never too late. You can see uh, when you uh, this relative new coin, you can take a look at when you have this coin, you can uh, keep this coin. Uh, you can also say, uh, see here, uh, Coase again, volume rising and also volume diminishing with a uh, falling price volume is rising and also stepping here with very big increase pushing to new highs um great nice to see you uh, use vc vsa also on crypto uh, i don't know what is uh, vsa uh, coast <laughs> but uh, uh, this um, abbreviation for sure VSA. Oh, volume spread analysis. Ah, look, look. <laughs> nice. Absolutely. Um, so these are my insights. And um, I would like to conclude with um, possibilities of uh, Deribit trading on option and futures on Deribit. I'm not sure if people are interested in it. Uh, then I can also do one, um, <clears throat> one, uh, yeah, one time and uh, kind of um, explanation video uh, of a Deribit. So if you have, uh, for instance, um, when you have, for instance, uh, Ethereum in portfolio, uh, this is very nice with Deribit. You can also create sub accounts. But suppose you have um, uh, you have a, a position in Ethereum. You deposit. Uh, um, a stable coin usdt or uh, ethereum you deposit ethereum for instance here and let's say uh, i'm going to ethereum here you see that the market is now trading around 280 uh, eight, uh, 2847 
And what you can do is, uh, okay, the position here is uh, the contracts are one. So you can buy it. It is not uh, one contract is 100, it's multiple 100 is one. That means we can take a look at uh, the price now for options. We'll load this uh, page. Uh, it's not that stable, I think, but I hope that uh, we can find it. I'm having here a juice. It's not schnapps, uh, actually. Okay. Now, this is the futures market. I would like to go to the option tab. So what nice, what is nice thing is that with uh, the options is that um, you can also uh, measure and price the options in um, put orders in uh, in percentages. And I have to say that um, the I have to say that uh, the options are nice. Uh, the volume, uh, the volatility is higher in the cryptos, and that's why. The options are also more expensive. And Lode uh, says the latest watches I can find in my impression is from June 2021. The latest coins like Ape are not on list. Uh, is there somewhere to find updated version? Yes, uh, Lode, it's good to remember. Um, I have to upload uh, the watch list yet. So maybe I can uh, do something for you. And that is um, give me uh, one second. So if you are interested, in, for instance, the NFT watch list. And I would like to support you with this, uh, with this one. I'm going to the NFT list. And that is here. Uh, NFT coins. Then I make, then I will go to export list. And now it's NFT coins one, it is called. And now with the, the paper clip, I would like to attach files for you. And I hope that I can find it. Other, no files. Upload. And I'm going to take a look uh, here. NFT coins. I hope it's working for you guys and ladies. Mm. Presentation. It's not. Okay, add. Uh, add. Yeah, uh, that is not the, the the case. Okay, what I will do is uh, you can see my uh, my screen now. What I will do is uh, my dot dot com. I'm going there um, for you in the fib area, and you can go to fib area tip line. That is uh, the board. And there is a subdivision, for instance, uh, watch list here. And I will upload now the Google Drive watch list that is here. And we'll upload the NFT watch list. Okay, this one. Okay, it's uh, it's step by step. Within a couple of uh, minutes, uh, we will round it off, of course. But then I will um, do it here. Another question is, how can I add some more? Uh, someone can a uh, new. Uh, I will uh, no. Okay, someone can help me. I thought it's very easy to add but uh, I have to do that myself okay I'm going to my uh, NFT coins NFT coin upload so if it's right there uh, in the link of uh, the Google Drive on mind.belegen.com, uh, there uh, you see the watch list. 
drag and drop. <laughs> drag and drop, yes, thank you, uh, uh, Coach. Okay, um, it's been uploaded. I will close some tabs here. Okay, um, the nice thing is with uh, options, uh, uh, I'm going now back to Deribit, and that is uh, the market is now trading around 2,800. It's correct. 850. So, but it's very nice that you can uh, take a look at the calls and the puts. You can see here the percentages uh, around 50%, 57%, 60%. This is the implied volatility. And that is um, implied volatility is quite high. Mm, and what I have, I have still positioned for 29th of um, April. That is Friday, there is expiration at nine o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock uh, in the morning, actually. And I would like to take a look for May 6th. So next week, uh, Friday. Yeah, it's in Google Drive. Uh, yes. And if you have some uh, requests, you can also put on um, uh, the board of mine.blegge.com and then you can uh, ask and then we can uh, upload it for you. Okay, May 6th, what, what I want to do uh, is to take a look at um, the price. So the market is now 2,850. When I sell, for instance, one call, the 3,000 uh, call, the implied volatility is 63%. And it means that if I sell this option, I get $52 on my account. So what I do is uh, very easy. I sell um this coin uh, this call and have the obligation to uh, to deliver ethereum but um it's all cash settled uh, actually in in ethereum itself and um i think it's quite uh, okay to sell this uh coin at uh, this call and you can also see the bit ask market as you can see it's very uh, big uh, 500 bit size, 205 uh, ask size. That is very liquid market, also in the options market. So I hope that this is not part of the X10 actually, that this is just an add on. Um, this is just to give you some insights how you can also um, earn money on the crypto market like this. Uh, yeah, it's now a little bit um, pending. But when I sell this, uh, I've sold this uh, this call. Oh, the connection has been lost, I see. Okay, but uh, anyway, uh, when the position has been taken, and then I have to deliver Ethereum above 3,200, uh, for the price 3,200. And, uh, but it's not, uh, not a big deal in my opinion. You can also see the sell margin is here, 0 0.1. Um, so that means that you need 0 0.1 Ethereum. That means uh, $280 more or less. Okay, um, I see that uh, it's over now, well, it's 10 past nine. I hope that you had some uh, good yeah, insights. And does someone has some other uh, other questions? Yeah, I think here. Screen sharing. Oh, I ran up. Click meeting. Application. If it's right, you see uh, Deribit again. That is here. Okay, yeah, you can see also the bid ask price eh, as uh, you see. So I sold just recently. I heard a, a bing, a beep. That means I sold uh, for sixth of May, and the three thousand call. Sorry, the three thousand call I sold. That means that I got uh, fifty-two dollars on my account, and when the market is uh, rising above three thousand, I have to deliver at three thousand. 
You can also say, okay, if you um, like to buy, uh, for instance, uh, with discount Ethereum um, below 2,600, then it's easy to sell the 2,600 put for 31 bucks. And that means that, um, let's say that you, uh, that you receive $30. That means that um, uh, your effective buying price of Ethereum is not 2,600 when the market is dropping, but 2,570. How sweet is that? What I'm also doing is uh, when I take a look at my position here, I see uh, I have here, for instance, 0.21 Delta, and I would like to have a zero position. And that means that I have to buy this Delta position in perpetuals, and then I'm flat in the market, um, then Delta neutral. So that means that uh, I have a holding in uh, Ethereum, and the market is uh, rising in USDT my um uh, my uh, uh holdings are increasing in value but the um, other side is that when the market is dropping then my uh, holdings are dropping in value uh, when they're going down and when it's going up then it's increasing in value <clears throat> I'm trying to find uh, the perpetuals you can also see on the left hand side the perpetuals you can see the perpetual is uh, the closest uh, 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 yes, future, which is uh, closest to the spot market. So what I uh, told, I have to buy, for instance, uh, 0 0.21, and then I'm flat in the market. And that is um, OK. Um, Co said, it's cash statement, no assignment. No, no, there are no assignments, uh, Co. So that is uh, true. And Deribit is handling uh, the, 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 the settlements. That is nice. Okay. Um, for now, uh, I would like to say to you, uh, thank you very much. And I hope that you found this, um, yeah, this webinar useful with some insights. And I would like to thank you very much, of course, um, some people are already um, using the extend uh, challenge. If you don't have access to the other uh, portfolios, feel free to um, mail me or uh, to ask for access to the others. Anyway, I would like to um, greet you from Frankfurt. Um, have a very nice evening and thank you very much for your uh, attention, of course, and um, premium members, I'll see you soon with another webinar. Ciao, Finn, and thank you very much uh, and to hear on my cost. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, no problem. You're welcome, of course, everyone. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a nice evening.